Shields up. <coughs> Shields up, Ironbreakers. How's everybody doing this fine Tuesday morning? Hope they're all doing good. We are back with some more Remnant 2. I'm going to be jumping into that door over on the um, Fey World because we do have the final mask. However, I was checking up on a couple of things before we jump back in there. One of the things that the game told us yesterday before we before we finished our session is that you've reached level 10. You can now unlock a second archetype. Now, I haven't really seen what unlocking a second archetype is like because I wanted to do that live on stream. So we're going to be jumping into uh, homeboy uh, Wallace over here. Although I did have someone spoil a couple of things yesterday. Like, I really wish that uh, people wouldn't tell me things about the game until I'm on, like, my second playthrough. Like, on my first playthrough, I mean, if you guys have seen my content, you know I like going in blind. I don't like knowing what awaits me. I don't, like, even mechanics or what things do is like, I don't want to know. I just don't want to know. But people did say yesterday, oh, the thing is, a, Welcome back. it's it's Come another on. archetype. I was like, okay, well, you know. <laughs> couldn't resist, could you? It's not like I can pretend that I don't know it now, so might well, as well pick it up. I think it's this guy who says it. Help you, today. you might find some of these useful. Which is this one. Old metal tool. I've never seen anything like this Take before. Now, traveler. I should ask Wallace. Okay, they specifically even says you to ask Wallace. So I guess eventually I was going to get it anyways, because I thought I actually thought that was going to be an upgrade. So I was going to buy it eventually. I did not know it was going to be an archetype. Uh, and then another thing. I've been trying to find out about this chest. Right? This chest that's over here. I've been trying to find out about it. And I've been looking around, like, off-stream, I mean. I've been looking through these diaries, doing all of these things. And then I reminded myself that on the very first day that I streamed this, someone was talking... No, what was it yesterday? I don't know, at some point in my stream, somebody said, like, Oh, if you want to know about the chest, there's a lantern. And I was like, I'll try to lead the message. And then I was like, you know, in your head, in your head, it always stays there. Lantern, lantern, lantern. And then I was like, what if they didn't mean a lantern like this one? But this one. But it turns out that is where the solution is. See, if you look at it... Then you flip it... And there it is. So yeah, two things that were spoiled. Whatever. Anyway, now I already know what the combination is, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it. Where is the damn thing, anyway? What the frack? Here. 0414. It makes sense because it is the old man that gives it to you. Oh! Is that wrong? Oh, you have to press square to open it. Cargo control key. What does this one do? Simple key, but considering its owner, whatever it unlocks must be far from simple. What goes around comes around. If you didn't do anything wrong, say, take something that wasn't yours, you should be just dandy. Now, what's that look for? Cargo... Wait! Cargo control... Cargo is the thing that's in the back of the submarine. Not not submarine, the, the back of the ship that we saw yesterday. Well, before we go there, though, we're gonna check out the, um... We're gonna check out the, uh, the archetypes. Jordan Heatherman just bought this game on PS5. Not really seen much about it. Not sure what to expect. 
Here's what you can expect. Dark Souls with guns and procedural generation. There you go. Like, levels in this game are procedurally generated. Naturally, this hub is, like, manually crafted. And there's certain sections that are manually crafted. But levels are procedurally generated. The world that you start in is random. It can be one of three worlds. So even if you're playing and your friend is playing, you can both end up in different worlds when you start the game. Uh, and even inside those worlds, according to the developers, you can have a different story. So say, for instance, for some reason, both you and your friend start the game on Yaisha there's still a chance that you will experience different things because they can, according to developers, again, you can have that same world but different storylines within that world. So there's a lot of kind of like randomness as to the content that you're going to be experiencing. But mechanically speaking, it is a third-person shooter Dark Souls. I love it so far. Does every boss have annoying ads? A lot of them definitely do. Traveler. Uh, I'd like to I see what you can that. craft. Steel ends well, engram the surfaces, uh... Surface metal is stained with... Dried blood and the handle is a lingering smell of sweat. Despite being a solid object, it always feels chillingly cold to the touch. Okay. Bye, traveler. Didn't they just tell me to speak traveler. to Wallace about? I know. They told me to speak to Wallace about the. Until uh, next time. About this. Select Angram. Oh, I just I just have this one. What is this? Oh, it's the challenger archetype. So I I haven't unlocked a single archetype so far. I thought I'd have access to the base archetypes. I guess not. So I need to go get items in order to unlock the archetypes. Interesting. Will you be checking out Atlas Fallen after Remnant 2 or is Baldur's Gate in the way? Uh, Baldur's Gate is probably going to be in the way. And after Baldur's Gate, I'm more interested in, pl in play Wayfinder. So, yeah. I want to check out Atlas Fallen, but Atlas Fallen is like in a very precarious, precarious spot. Well, look at you! Out saving the world! Okay, you so she doesn't sell me. anything. She also sells, like... So I can only really get Challenger so far, so you need a specific item to be able to unlock each of those things. Hmm. See, this I didn't know. Very well. Uh, I get the War Stomp skill. How does that work? Secondary archetype. Oh, R2. Okay. So you have full access to the other class? This I didn't expect. I expected the other class to just be like a secondary type of situation. I have not played the first game. Should I watch some videos on the store to have a better understanding of the world or not? Uh, I would just start playing. And then if you feel like you want to get a better understanding on the, of the world, then go for it. But first I would start playing. I think the whole point would be to get the prime, the prime perk. Yeah, actually, you definitely get the prime perk. Look, right there, strong back. Oh, wait. 
Oh no, wait, you don't get these. You get the archetype trait, you get the skills, but you might not get the perks. I'm okay with that. Then if you do, it's basically full-on dual class. Whatever the challenger equivalent of bonded is. Bonded? Where's bonded? Ah, here it is. Prime perk. So... Aha! I don't even know what bonded is. When Handler is down, companion... Oh, okay, I can revive with this. Well, what's the... Prime perk for this one? Immune to death once every tw ten minutes? Okay. So that means you can have all of the benefits of Handler whilst being another class minus the revive. Ah, my lucky day. MPR six MP sixty R, okay. There's more stuff there. Doesn't seem like I can climb out. But there will be items over there and a portal. Oh, it probably means you have to go in from the portal into here. And then you'll get it. But that means it's probably one of the other portals that's over on um, on the labyrinth. Anyway, I'm not particularly interested on a submachine gun, so whatever. All of that for a submachine gun that I don't even care about. Wait, is it a hand? Oh, it's a handgun. That actually seems like it'd be pretty powerful, because it's probably got better accuracy than that pistol. Like, let me just look at the damage of it, just out of curiosity. Uh, the one that I was using previously is this one. So this one's got 8 damage, 16 RPS, and 30 magazine. This one has less RPS, a bigger magazine, and more damage. Yep, this is just straight up a better version of that weapon. Anyway, it's kind of late for that. We have this one. Okay. So would you Best also sell times, something, maybe? The pestilence grows, and the dwell has gems for sale. Quality it. <laughs> Until we meet once more. Okay. So now I gotta figure out who else sells the the stuff. Wonder if this guy's got anything to tell me. Hey, again. How's everything? No. He's got nothing new. If you okay. need anything, you know where to find me.
I think we're going into the, um... Yeah, we're just gonna go into the thing. What? First, first, actually, I'm gonna visit the labyrinth real quick. Also, is there a way to figure out if something is dealing elemental damage? I think this is just physical damage. And this is also physical damage. Fires tooth-like fletchettes. When weapon reticle is fully compressed, fletchettes apply 500 ble bleeding. Okay. I have no idea, Valdreth. That's an excellent question. <laughs> I don't know if the uh, passives on the thing are always active or not. Ah, uh, this is the Inner Sanctum, Colosseum of Ruin, Fractured Ingress. I think we're gonna go for the Fractured Ingress. Because there is a gate there that I haven't opened. I don't think that that one's gonna go to where I want it to, but we'll see. Do you still play Destiny? I haven't played Destiny in years, and I have no intention of playing Destiny. Oh! Interesting, this portal is actually marked as my main quest. Wait. Wait, what? There's a section of the labyrinth I haven't explored? Actually, there's quite a few sections of the labyrinth that we haven't explored. Wait, what? Okay, this is somewhere we've been. This is somewhere we've been. I'm very confused about... Okay, this section I know why I haven't explored it, because you can't get there. But this section up here, I don't remember. Let's find out real quick. Good job, Kegrin. So you can't Holy go hell. through here. So instead, we're gonna go down there. Yeah, why didn't I explore that section? I feel like I've been there. But for some reason, I chose not to jump down there. Oh, glad that's over. It's a leap of faith. It's a leap of faith, and I never noticed it. Well, 
That one's a bit of a big leap of faith. Wait, can I climb here? Oh, hello. What the? Bro. Mantle. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I saw it, Kagren. I saw it this morning. Ah, uh, let's just pretend that never happened. Let's just go ahead and pretend that never happened. Dude, these little dudes are annoying as hell. These little dudes yeah. are <laughs> real annoying. gun. Wasn't there like... I thought there was a place to fall here, though. That's the thing. What's up here? <coughs> now we wait. Come on. Do it. <laughs> All right. Oh, item. Also, one way drop. Possibly go wrong. Why can't I use my dog skill? Did it use it? It did, okay. Alright, bro. It's time for you to go to hell. Like I said, it's time for you to go to hell. All y'all can join me. Although it kind of sucks that basically I have to go do the jump again. 
Because it doesn't seem like this portal is changing. What did he drop again? Did he drop a weapon or something? Oh, he dropped this. Corrupted luminite crystal shows a sinister red hue. Its luminescence properly is twisted by an unknown force. Its ominous appearance will be deceived. Obtaining valuable material requires overcoming extremely dangerous and formidable enemies. It was pretty easy. Wait, I can jump down from here? Oh, he dropped the mutator. Okay. There we go. Vengeful strike increases melee damage by 20%. Not interested. And now we have to do the bullshit jump again. The bullshit jump again. It disappeared from reality. Morning, work on how goes your travels? They're going uh, pretty good. We already found a a new section of the labyrinth that I hadn't really been to. We also not really found. It was kind of spoiled to me yesterday a little bit, but I still had to think a little bit about it. But we found the coffer solution for the one that's in base. So now we're just wrapping up a couple of things before we jump back into Elfland. Okay, so what's this? Oh, it's a melee weapon. Labyrinth staff. Basic strikes generate additional mod power. Charge stacks permanent. We. Lame. Mine's better. I mean, it's not lame. It's still cool, but mine's better. I'm the spear chucker. I chucker the spear. Okay, and now I believe that this is all that we can currently do in the labyrinth, maybe? Maybe. There's still that section over there. Like, this section over here, but as far as I'm aware- where is it? Or I can't even see it anymore. There's still this section over here. But as far as I'm aware, I think that's going to be another portal. I don't think we get to explore that one just yet. And then it's like, this portal goes to Yasha. Forbidden Grove. Yep. This portal goes to Lumos, or whatever the fuck it's called, right? The Beatific Palace, which is in Lumos. And apparently this is the next portal that I need to go to. But, right now, we're going to go into the Beatific Palace and use the thing.
The segments, the mural, the imposter. So if that thing is going to activate... Oh, let me guess. I pull it and it's gonna rotate. Pretty much what I expected. Okay, so we can now travel between the Malefic and the Beatific Palace. Okay. We're gonna start things off at the Beatific- wait. The Beatific Palace is the main quest. The Beatific Palace is the main quest, it seems. So it didn't matter. Yeah, it didn't matter. I figured it probably wasn't gonna matter because Fanon was in chat yesterday. Uh, he's a dev for the team. And he was saying like, oh, you want me to save you some time? And I was like, oh, it probably means the same thing. <laughs> but if this one is the main quest, in that case, I want to go to the other one first. Mr. Tommy Giggles is just insane. Don't worry about him. Crazy. Cray cray. He's insane in the membrane. Insane in the membrane. Got insane. Got no brain. Oh man, what a slaughter. What a slaughter. See you later, Kegrin. Ooh, this looks like a boss fight. Beware, creature, for you stand in the presence of Feyrin, the Almighty. We are the slayer of the one true king, conqueror of all we survey. In my presence, all must tremble and fall. No. But you, aren't you a strange and pathetic little creature? I'm afraid you have stumbled into the wrong door, little mouse. Yet, curiosity stays my hand a moment. What are you? Some sort of misshapen vermin? Misshapen vermin? I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> that will be remedied. Though I commend you in maintaining my interest. Do you have purpose here? Or shall I crush you for want of entertainment? I'm looking for beings of great power. <laughs> Is that a threat, little mouse? I see in your eyes what you wish to do to these beings, and there are none more powerful than I. Ah, but there is one close enough. An imposter who plagues me, who claims my deeds and strengths as his own. He calls himself Fei Lin. He sees me now, even as I see him. Him. And so, I cannot face him, not as I am. But you, you must have some skill in fighting to have come all this way. Yes? Kill him, Mouse. Kill Phelan, and you will earn my esteem. And that is no small thing. Isn't your name Phelan? I know he's Feyrin, but... No, you fool. I am Feyrin, the all-powerful, the true king of the Fey, 
He is an imposter, and I will see him destroyed! You will find him in the Golden Halls, a gaudy mockery of my court, as everything about him is a mockery. Kill him, and you shall be greatly rewarded. Away now, Mouse! Why do you still stand before me? And what makes you think you've earned the right to an audience? I grant it, but only to speed the death of the one who vexes me. Didn't I just say I had some questions? It bores us then, and risks its life. Very well. Ask. There we go. Why do you want the imposter dead? Uh, he haunts me, Mouse. He lives in my mind. He sees with my eyes. We cannot look away. Cannot be alone. For we are not alone. You must defeat me. You'll find me in the Golden Halls. Go there and end me. Did you command me to defeat you? You are a fool, little mouse. If you think you can defeat me. No, Fei Lin resides in the Golden Halls, and we, we will not, not be easy, easy to kill. kill. But kill us, you but must. Kill us, you must, else we will end you. What happened to the one true king? We ended his reign. He was not one of us, and had no right to rule over us. The Fey should be ruled by the Fey. But you're a so grand. we freed ourselves. Freed all the fair. No, he is a fair. And now, there is peace under my rule. This world doesn't look very peaceful. Only because of the imposter who vexes me. Only because... If the others would but listen, they would see. There could be peace if only all would submit. If everybody submits, there will be peace. This is like the ultimate warlord... It's like, look, if you just surrender, I won't have to butcher everyone, all right? Just do as I say or I'll kill you. Is that so hard? Why can't you just do what I tell you? See, you're going to make me have to kill you now. It's like, what the fuck, dude? Absolute tyrant. What are the golden halls? You will know them. A twisted mockery of the shade you now stand in. Everything I do mocks me. Us. Phelan mocks us. End him. Sounds like the Garlean Empire. Yeah, exactly. Did you kill the one true king? Close enough. He will not wake from his slumber. And the thrones are now ours. The throne, the throne is mine. Any could have done it before us. All had the desire. We alone had the will. Are you a being of great power? I am indeed. But you cannot defeat me. It is Feilin whose death you seek. Kill us. Kill him. And I will reward you greatly. I don't have any more questions. Finally, kill Phelan Mouse, but beware, I will not be an easy opponent. You will find me in the Golden Halls. Okay, let's see which one of the elves is the biggest douchebag. Uh, there's a door back there, but there's nothing else in here. Let's see which one of the two elves is the biggest douchebag. And we kill that one. Whichever one of these two is the biggest douchebag gets the spear.
Do, 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 do. Spin the wheel, spin the wheel. Chug a chug, 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 Rocket fuel. The burden of the gambler. Wait, there's a Dran in there. Oh no, there isn't. Hi! Welcome, mortal, to the court of Fei Lin, benevolent and all-knowing. I am the slayer of the one true king, and ruler of all Fey. Be glad, mortal, for few are given the pleasure of such an audience. You are not Fey, yet you do not bear the cheerless apathy of the draft. You are something new, I should wager. Yes? Tell us, stranger. What are you? Didn't you say you were all-knowing? Oh, it bears barbs upon its tongue. I like that. Tell me, what is your purpose here? I am looking for beings of great power. <laughs> and what will you do when you find one? Oh, do not answer. I can see it in your eyes. It is not a meeting of the minds you seek, I take it. In this realm, there is no being more powerful than the imposter who plagues me. One who claims my deeds and even my throne as his own. He calls himself Feyrin. Clearly, you are a skilled fighter, mortal. No other could have fought and lived all the way here. And no other would seek to challenge these powerful beings you speak of. Feyrin is truly the one you seek. Should you kill him and return to me, I will more than compensate you for the task. For I long to see his defeat as well. You will find him in the shade. A twisted mockery of this glorious court, and a suitable metaphor for all the imposter stands for. Kill him, and you shall be greatly rewarded. Now, is there anything more we can do for you to speed you on your way? I had some uh, questions. Very well, mortal. But only in as much as it will aid you in your service to me. Why do you want the imposter dead? He haunts me, mortal. Lives in my mind. This is exactly my what the other one said. Like, literally, word thoughts. by word. We cannot look away. Cannot be alone. For we are not alone. For my sake, you must defeat me. Go to the shade and end me once and for all. Did you tell me to end you once and for all? Don't be absurd. It is Feyrin you must kill. But be prepared. It's the same thing, yeah. we will not be easy to defeat. Feyrin said he wants you dead. Is that not what I said? Yes. Feyrin is the one who must die. I'm not sure you heard me. This is not difficult, mortal. Kill the imposter, Feyrin. Kill us, and we will reward you. This is not difficult. Kill us. I think that whichever one you kill, the other one also dies. Which is funny, because basically this dude... It's kind of like two sides of your conscience, if you really look at it. This is two sides of your consciousness. Like, there's the darker side of your conscience, and there's the lighter side of your conscience. And you're always like, man, 
I wish I could be, in, in some situations you might think to yourself, I wish I could be better. That's you saying, I wish I could kill the darker part of my consciousness. Whereas there are other situations where you've been really good, but then you weren't rewarded. So you think to yourself, man, I wish I could be a, a terrible person. So that's the dark side of your conscience telling you that like, oh, I wish I could kill the light side of the conscious, right? And the thing that the whole, the whole metaphor here is like, you know that if either side conquers the other, you basically die because you're no longer the same person. We ourselves, we are conflict. The constant plaguing questions that are in your mind in a conflict like, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do it like this? Should I do it like that? Should I be better? Should I be worse? This is what defines you as a person. And if you're able to kill one side of you, the other one will inevitably die. This is good. This is very good. What happened to Rowan True King? One and true are titles he placed upon himself. He spoke of freedom whilst his boot crushed our necks. He was never one of us and had no right to rule. The fair should be ruled by the fair, and so we freed ourselves. Freed all the fair. Now, finally, there can be peace. I wonder if the rewards depends on which one wins. A hundred percent, Zen. That's like a theme for Remnant. You always have to make a choice, and depending on the choice that you make, the piece of gear that you get is going to be different. And they don't tell you what it is. What I saw on the way here wasn't peace. You're strong and brave, mortal. But myopic. Peace takes time. And the firm hand of benevolence and wisdom. How can I provide that when the imposter hounds me so? Okay, I understand exactly. I understand exactly what's happening here. Let's just do this then one. perhaps you are as blind as you are potent. He mocks me, mortal. Can you not see that? He pretends. Kill us, and you will see. Okay, I'm good. Excellent. Return once the deed is done, won't you? Your reward awaits when the deed is done, mortal. Okay, so I'm going to go and see if I can have a quick word with Nimue. <clears throat> the shade, look at the floor? What are, what are you talking about? In the shade, the floor is red, and in here it is blue. Oh! The shadow shows him as- no, it doesn't. It almost looked like the shadow showed him all in gold, but no, it's the same thing. The floor is the shade. Good observation. But I don't think it works that way in the shade, because in the shade the floor is red. So let's seek the guidance of Nimue. <clears throat>
What big hands you have. Gracing me with your presence once more? Yes. As do so many, strange one. Ask, and I will answer. The deceiver is eternally self-absorbed. They have seated themselves in palaces of conceit on gilded thrones of falsehoods. You cannot fail to find them, for they have ensured that all roads lead to themselves. So I basically, I can do whichever one I want. Certainly, strange one. Doesn't it appear is, to make a difference to As you say. Namue's artisanship is yours to peruse. Namue? Aw, it hasn't unlocked anything. Lame. Lame-o. Our kingdoms cannot heal until the imposter is vanquished. So... Do I have a coin? I don't have a coin. Give me a second. We're gonna, we're gonna do it like this. Coin flip. No, actually, I'll let you. I'll let you guys decide. I'll let you guys decide. You guys get to choose. Cause to be honest, I really don't care which one we kill. <laughs> They're both elves. They both gotta go. I'm going to put up a poll. Relax. I'll let you guys decide. And then if we don't get a good item, I'll blame you guys for it. It's that simple. <laughs> if the item I get from killing this dude is not good, it's your fault. Also, my chat apparently exploded. YouTube, come on. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I can't see anything in chat. Give me a second. I'm going to try refreshing the window. Uh, I guess the poll didn't work. Let me do it again. <clears throat> oh, I get it. It's because on my poll it says, who do we kill? Oh my god, YouTube. Okay, I'll name it. Who do we, t who do we fight? Who do we engage to make sure that it, <laughs> we said, who do we kill? And the algorithm is like, wait, what? <laughs> it's like some black market Bitcoin assassinations going on. What the hell? I don't even know if I'm allowed to. I'm, I'm also not. Now I was wondering, could it be because one of the options said the dark dude that could have been a thing too I, I don't know anymore like dude it's so weird okay we'll just do it like this let's see if this one doesn't explode there we go this one doesn't explode okay let's go team let's see what you guys vote damn it's looking 50 50 uh Farron's not looking so hot right now Farron's about to take a beat down. Uh-oh. Phelan coming up. Farron. Oh, it's tight. It's tight. I, I don't know if you can vote if you're watching on cell phone. I would assume you can. Because usually we don't get as many votes compared with the amount of people that are watching. But, you know, I'll give it a, I'll give it a solid couple of minutes. In the meantime, let's actually walk over back to um, where we're supposed to be going. One of them's going to die. It's, it's that simple. By the way, do we level up both classes? Ah, nice. I like that. I was wondering if you had to level them up separately. I really appreciate the fact that I can keep playing my main class and level the secondary one. That is a very good feature. Okay. Now then. We go... Beatific Gallery. Oh. Oh, I can choose where to go from here. How very convenient. 
So, according to your votes, I guess Farron's going to eat a bullet. Or several bullets. Farron's going to eat a couple of bullets. Yep. He's done. He is done. All right. The chat has decided. It has been decided. Hello, brother. And how are you doing this fine day, sir? The vermin returns. I hope it is more interesting this time. I challenge you. Is that how this ends? Good. I tire of conversation with vermin. I am fearing the Almighty. God damn. God, the delay on his attacks is terrible. I'm getting allergic to bosses that have like that goddamn delay for Margaret, dude. Everybody gets a Margaret delay nowadays. to get some market delay you get a market delay and you get a market delay you were a fool to come here <laughs> Hurry, go to your 
What in the fuck is going on? God, he's just gonna spam this. This is the boss's version of random bullshit. Go! This gun reload would take any longer. I can't reload my gun. I owe you one. Here you come.
Excuse me. Come on, the reach of those is so deceptive. I can't, I can't see when the, like, when the swords are falling down, the reach of the AoE is a lot bigger than what you think. So you just have to be really, really far away from the swords as they're falling, which makes it, because the problem is then other swords are falling too, which makes it harder than it should be really. Hey, 
deal so much damage. For that. This, this is your as I I think I get it. So the trick, the trick to that fight is that when the first sword falls, you run to it because the swords never fall twice in the same place. So this is, this is basically like, you know how in Final Fantasy 14 you had those things where, oh, here come the big AOEs. You wait until the first AOE drops and you fucking book it. It's the same thing. Because, like, that final... This is actually a really good boss fight. This boss fight is really good. Like, no joke. This boss fight is really well made. I appreciate that. I appreciate... Uh, also, uh, yeah, I wanted to... Uh, Dominos Dario, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. How's your experience with the game? Do you think it's possible to recommend this game to someone who's new to this genre? Yes. Easily. Easily. Even if you are struggling, because, like, you see me playing and you're like, oh my god, that looks really hard or something because of the damage that I'm taking. I'm playing on Veteran, which hits a little bit harder than on other difficulties. So there's also a regular difficulty that you can play that makes it a little bit easier if you're finding the game too hard. But overall, yes, it's an easy recommendation from what I've seen so far, yeah. It's really, really good. The pizza slices, exactly, dude. Begin adventure mode at Crystal War 13. Segment. We now have another segment. Very well. Oh, looks like the other side still has its, uh, its dude. Is there nothing else in this room? Can I not go up to the door? And you did not level any trait to reduce damage. Kagarin, you want to get slapped? Because I'll slap you. Brother, listen. I got Bark Skin, which reduces damage. I got uh, whichever one sends the damage to the animal. So I have 4% damage reduction. 
plus 4% damage that is being sent to my pet. So actually, yes, I have leveled up defensive traits. Quite a bit. Nah, let me see. Is there a bonus to playing on veteran? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe? I think that the handler is just squish, squishier than other classes to make up for the fact that he has the dog. Which makes sense. I'm not complaining. But I'm also, I've also realized one thing though. Um, what was the other ring that I was using here? It was this one. I'm also realizing that I don't think I care about the bleeding. What I actually want in here is... Where's that one where whenever I use like a skill or whatever, it just straight up gives me regen? I have one that gives me regen for skills used, and I want that. Yeah, here it is. Using a skill regenerates 10% of maximum health. Okay. So, I want to see if I can have a conversation with Midway. So, team, let me also tell you, if we do not get something good out of the thing that I just got from this boss, this is on you. You chose the death of Faerun. I was actually thinking about killing Phelan. Maybe we get to kill both of them, I don't know, because Phelan apparently was still there. I'm just scared to see if Nemue says anything. She acknowledged that we killed one of them. Big lady! Oh man, she's got a booger. A cosmic booger. You have a cosmic the booger, lady. Oh? Oh, there is the option there for I killed the imposter. Indeed, it is so. Even the poor creatures of these kingdoms twain can sense his passing. So great an influence he had over us all. Strange one, you have done what I, what so many, never could. The Fey owe you a great debt, though they know it not. Perhaps I may now begin to mend that which has been sundered. And I hope you, also, may find that which you seek. The strange one returns. I didn't attack her. What the fuck? Namue's artisan. She doesn't even get new crafting things? Doesn't even Take give me anything? The strange one returns. As do... The deceiver is eternally self obs You cannot fail to find them, for they have certainly. They haven't uh, thought that I would ask that question again. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you can find the imposters. Like, what the fuck do you mean? I just killed him. I just killed his ass. Butchered him like the bitch he was. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Phelan next. Yeah, we got a hilt thing from Farron. Like I said, if that... That's what I meant. If that hilt thing doesn't give us something good... You guys, uh, it's you guys' fault. Just saying. Just saying. Just throwing it out there. There's still something that we haven't unlocked here. And it is related to the council. So, I still need to figure out what's going on with the council. And don't 
spoil it for me, please! I killed his ass, and now I kill your ass. Unwanted presence slipping away. I am alone again. Myself. You have served me well, and I will uphold my part of the bargain. Now go, and may the rest of your journey be as fruitful. I have an entire realm to attend to, mortal. Please, let me do so. I have an entire realm to attend to, mortal. Please. I should have killed him. Anyway, what ring that we got off of his ass? Melee damage generates 10% additional mod power. on PS5 or just DualSense connected to PC? I'm playing on PS5. It's pretty much stable 60 most of the time, but I do believe the game has a, um, a bit of a memory leak because uh, the other day we played for like eight hours and the game started getting a little bit choppy, restarted, worked fine, but still mostly really good, mostly really good performance. Okay, so I'm concerned about something, because there's a puzzle we haven't solved yet, and that is pissing me off. It's like, I want to be able to do an accusation. I haven't been able to do an accusation. That is very frustrating. It's like, if we look here, everything has been explored. So, let me teleport to someplace else. Is the game super fun when playing solo? It's pretty good. I wanted to play mostly co-op, but they haven't fixed co-op on PS5 yet, so I can't. Uh, let's see. See, in here, there's also only one, and I can't go there. wonder if you have to kill the imposter before they let me... Let's see if they say something different. Trust you have purpose here. As you will, stranger. So I haven't found sufficient evidence yet. I feel like wherever that whatever that evidence is, it should be in here. Like that would make sense. It should either be here or it should be in the dark version of this realm. So I'm going to go over to the dark version that this map links to and see if we can figure it out. This book here is also the Jeb Hawk. Okay. <clears throat> I love the Nara and the Jeb Hawk story. It's so good. 
co-op works on PS5 fine for me with randoms by a wolf. I wanted to co-op with someone specifically from my friends list and that's not working. Well, they did say if you have like a small friends list. No, actually they said this is a non-US problem. So if you're in the US, maybe it works for you. Oh, there's a whole section we have, but I can't go there. Wait. What the fuck? Shit. Oh, I can't go through that door. Bro, the challenger skill is really good. <laughs> this isn't looking good. That thing's got like no cooldown. Oh, that was rough. There's got to be a way to get through this door. And that's probably what I'm missing. You see, I came in here, I went all the way back there, but I never went through that door, and I never went through that- wait. Shit. There's a secret passage back there. I can't even get through this part, so I can't... God, it's so frustrating. I'm beginning to wonder if it might just be something that... Oh, you just got unlucky with the RNG. Like, your world just generated something that's unsolvable. I don't think so, because so far... Everything that we've done has been solvable. But in this level, it almost feels like it's not. It feels like there's something wrong. What in the motherfuck? What was that fire damage? Holy shit. These mobs are like damn near one-shotting me over here. What the fuck?
Do we have more of these fuckers? <clears throat> no, we killed all of them. Okay, let's take a quick glimpse into this room. I already solved the the part of the of that part that you're talking about with the chairs and the stones and all of that. That's all solved. So wait, this is the Immortal King, and they plunged the dagger into him. I never jumped back here. It's hard to believe a small weapon could have such a profound effect. The small purple symbol is set into the hilt, carved with an elegant mirrored flower-like symbol. Oh, they didn't like that. They didn't like that at all. These fire arrows, what the fuck, dude? Holy hell. I was laughing so hard when you left that behind. Prick bastard. Fuck you. You're a piece of doo doo, Kegrin. Oh shit. A Nerul? I thought it would have been Savan. Oh, I can take the keys with me. No, wait, wait, wait. They changed the order of them again. Niel, Onero. Wait, which one's the purple? Oh, it was her. You dirty bitch. Niel, you dirty bitch. Also, what could, what could, what effect could this possibly have now? We already solved this puzzle. I think that was just a glitch. If that wasn't just a glitch, I don't know why that specific puzzle reset. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I feel like that puzzle shouldn't have reset just then. But anyways, it's Niel. I thought it would have been Savan. Interesting. <clears throat> oh, wait, they did say that they never went to check on the place. Because they didn't trust each other, so they couldn't allow either of them to go in there. They plunged it right in his back, dude. That's pretty fucking gnarly. I love how they left the knife there, though, for everybody else to find. Ba -bum 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 -ba -bum -ba -bum -bum Now, let's just see if any of these other doors opens or not. But I doubt it. I could have actually taken those keys with me, because these don't unlock anything anymore. And I just like, well, I'll keep your keys. <coughs> so I guess you're not intended to access these areas on the dark side. The whole point is to go there and find the knife. 
Bro, that was so basic. I was like looking through all of the books, reading all of these stories, trying to figure out what the console had done. I was like, nah, it's right there. The knife with the purple symbol. Though, honestly, I still think Savan did it and framed Purple Lady. I think Purple Lady is too obvious, and if they give me the chance, I'm gonna pin it on Savan and be like, it was you, it was you, you grabbed this knife and you fucking shanked that bitch. If they give me a choice, I will do it. I will threat, I will be like, yep, it was Savan all along, I know it. I don't trust that bitch. Wait, where's the council? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. It was you, Saban. I know you. You grabbed the purple shank, you shanked that bitch, and you left that knife there. You're back. Have you found anything interesting of late? I have news about who waited the I imposter. Now, stranger, for Faylor is strict and swift. And you stand to accuse one of its highest ranking members. If you accuse one of us, you must have evidence, new evidence, to support your claim. The penalty for frivolous accusations against the Council is steep. It is death, foreigner, at least for you. Swift and immediate. Are you prepared to make an accusation according to our laws? I am prepared to make Let's an accusation. Speak. Who among us aided the imposter? Savan aided the oh. imposter. You are aware I am the head of this council, are you not? This is a heavy accusation. What proof do you bring? The proof is that you stand to gain the most from the one true king's current state. <clears throat> Motives are not proof. But you have now wrongfully and willfully brought charges of treason against the Council of the One True King. The law is clear, creature. Your life is forfeit. I'll say this much, though. You have brought this Council together again. If only to destroy you. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I know it was her. I know it was you. Well, instead of killing one elf, I get to kill three. Seems like a win-win situation, personally. So, here's the thing, like, I don't think it makes any sense for the purple one to be the one that you actually accuse. I think that's stupid. I really do. If that's what the game wants you to do, I think that is really, like, especially after the puzzles that we've done so far, with the music puzzles and the shadow puzzles, if it's just, yep, come in here, 
accuse the purple dude, you found the purple knife. I'm like, bro, that is no way. There is no shot that you just, oh yeah, I grabbed the purple knife. Must have been the purple one. You mean, you mean this dude had a knife with a symbol on him, went up, stabbed the big boy and left his knife in there. It's like, bro, come on. That doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense whatsoever. That zero sense. Oh yeah, he, ju he just like, oh yeah, he killed him and then he just left the thing there. Yep, seems legit. It's like, no. The knife is what keeps him sleeping, I believe. He didn't appear to wake up when I removed the knife, so I don't think that's the case. It's a bunch of bullshit, dude. No, oh, no, 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 no. It's bullshit. It's b- no, 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 no. Whatever you say, detective. You're goddamn right, I'm a detective. I have proof it was her. I read the book, the deposition, where it reveals that Savan is an unhinged friggin' lunatic that straight up killed the butcher. Then again, the butcher was also an unhinged lunatic. That's the thing. The butcher of the, what's it called? The, the butcher of Ran or whatever the hell it was called. That guy was an unhinged lunatic. He was in the library and he was just like, well, this person's getting in my face. Guess I'm pulling out my butcher's cleaver and killing them. And then he was talking with Savan and Savan was like, you know what? I see your point. I think you make a good point. It's like, excuse me? You just decided you were going to off somebody? Because they were in your face? And somehow this is reasonable? And and then Savan, who is like one of the highest ranking members of the council, is like, yep, I thought that was reasonable too. And then you find the purple knife stabbed into the king, like the most obvious frame job ever. And you're going to tell me that the purple bitch did it. No, I don't believe you. I do not believe you. She may be unhinged, but she's loyal. No, I don't believe you. And now I don't get to see this. I'm assuming that if you figure this out, maybe they open that door, but oh well. So it's whatever is the basic ass answer. That's the one you got to give here. I'm actually disappointed. Like I was expecting this puzzle to involve the reading of the book that I read in some other realm that said that Savan was an unhinged lunatic. That's not how the book on the deposition went in my world, though. What do you mean? The Vron, the Vron deposition was different for you? I'm now I'm even more confused. So see, there's a section of Losom that we never got to access. Anyway, what do we get from that ring? Is it any good? Fate Protector Sigma increases max health and stamina by 10, reduces encumbrance by 5. It's a ring of favor and protection. Kinda. Not really, but kinda. Bro deleted elf society. Seems reasonable. It was the only outcome for the elves, dude. They were too far gone. We solved the problem. Huracan, most people don't inspect items. What? <laughs> oh no! Oh well. Well, that's sorted. We killed the three elves. I'm okay with that. I'll take that. The reward is probably better if you guess the right one, but, you know. No, you're right. You're right, Ceramic. You're actually right. This is the reason why I never found out the, uh, the chest thing. Until, you know, somebody mentioned something about a lantern in chat, and then I was like, Oh. 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 Okay. You. Again. I yes, again. me again. God splitter, melee weapon, expertly balanced blade that's the product of advanced fame metallurgy. So it's dog shit. 
Charge attacks taint the blood of targets, causing all attacks from God Splitter to register as weak spot hits for two seconds. Yeah. I mean, it's Fey Metallurgy. Come on. Elven craftsmanship, bro? Elven craftsmanship? Hard pass, my dude. Hard pass. Bye. Not interested. Not interested at all. Costs things to craft it. Don't care. Ah, good to see you again. I'm not trying it. Ba -bum -bum. Light and durable? More like light and flimsy. Haha, -ha, got him. So we need galvanized iron for both the weapons that I'm using. Take care, my friend. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Listen, guys, I'm not using the elven sword. Like, what's so hard about this? Are you kidding me? Why would I why would I use the elven sword, bros? Like, actually think about it. Murakan using an elven sword. What's wrong with you? I'm disappointed in you, chat. I'm disappointed with you. That you would think that I would use an elven blade. Ooh. Oh, come on. You killed their entire society. You... Ooh. Ooh. That's a, that's a two for two. Well, no, not two for two. This is like stream five, so that's two for five. Ooh. This is punishment. Okay. Quit the game. Let's go to another game. You're crazy. I'm having such a blast with this game. I'll take one or two crashes. I'm not going to use a melee weapon unless he uses both hands. Don't care. This is like that meme of that guy <clears throat> of that guy going, "Why are you booing? You know I'm right." She's awake this time. You are strange indeed. How can I be of service? I killed your council. As do so. Certainly. Namueys. Ha. Ah. You can craft the assassin's dagger. Lightweight, silent, deadly, it's rumored that the blade is meant to bestow a slow, agonizing death. Damage increases by 25% against bleeding enemies and 25% when attacking from behind. Charge attacks deal 200 bleeding damage over 10 seconds. Of course, Kagan would want me to come back here to look at the assassin's dagger. For absolute shame, Kagrin. For absolute shame. All this elven craftsmanship. May the spear is elf made too. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This was a dwarven spear that the huntress stole from the dwarves. Okay? She stole it from the dwarves. It is a hundred percent a dwarf spirit. It's time to go to the labyrinth, to the fractured ingress, to go to the next location. You guys don't believe me? Like, let's look at the description of the spirit. Can I? Uh, a character. The spear is oddly quiet. Even when you slide your hand across its half or drop it upon the ground, it makes an unthinkably small amount of noise. 
They say the Huntress is a direct descendant of Aramin and Aramor, the brothers who once slayed their god so that they might lay claim to the birthright of their own creation. She certainly lives up to the tale. See? It's not an elven weapon. There's not enough adornments in it. All of the elven bullshit has like a zillion adornments on it, dude. It's a simple, practical spear, and it was crafted by a dwarf. Elven craftsmanship is better than the plain dwarven stuff? Okay, I'm banning you. You're gone forever. It's over. This is over for your angry Scots dad. Boom, done. Actually, I'm doing more than banning you. I'm having Mr. Tummy Giggles go over to your house and beat the shit out of you. That's what you're getting for that snide remark. You understand, sir? This is how this works. This is a fuck around and find out zone. <laughs> Aramin and Aramor sound like dwarven names, exactly. They definitely don't sound like elven names. Like Legolas or Galadriel. Bit of your own medicine, huh? These dudes came straight from the money for nothing video. Wait, what the hell is that? And why is it red? How do I get to that portal? That's one of the red boys. And there's a purple item there too. You can kind of see it there. Oh, maybe if I go there I can kind of like jump through. Oh, you can't jump from here. You wouldn't be able to jump from above either. That might actually be from one of those, um, one of those other portals. Wait, there was another gate down there. So this is the wall. I think it's that one that's like going sideways. This one, the, this one's the one that's in the middle of nowhere.
Yeah, that's a portal down there. What if I aimed for that one? I still don't know where this one is. It, it is on. It is definitely on. Uh, Komar Dangerfield, hold L1 and then press R1. And notice how you fall right through it, so it's like, I just need to get it, get it at the right moment. It's a very hard one to get though, because you gotta like, really jump at the exact second, at the last second to jump in there. Great. Oh, hi. That's nice. Ah, that's it. For now. That one was straight up inspired by Portal, let's be real. On use converts 5 health as gray health to 40 mod power per second for 25 seconds for both weapons. Cannot die from conversion. So you can't heal at all. That does not seem reasonable. That does not seem reasonable at all. I'll keep my dragon heart, thank you very much. And then there's one more that I want to go through. Bum, 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 bum. I think this one you have to jump right at the beginning and immediately jump off it. So you want to go like this and jump off. The health regen relic actually synergizes kind of well with my build to be honest. The thing is, currently my mod powers are not the best. 
which is why I want to replace some of my weapons. No, I don't think you can do that one. I don't I don't know what's the point of that one. You need to jump off immediately, but I don't get it. There's another portal down there. But no, I think that that one would have been to go forward, but it doesn't seem like you can actually go forward with it. It doesn't seem like you can get enough forward momentum. Oh, I can actually see it on the map where I died. I see like the spot that it's teleporting me to. Oh my god, it's far above. Like, look at how far above it is. Then if it's above, the things that I'm looking to is that. And what I'm trying to get to is that. But it looks like I've been there already because it's fully explored. Wait a second. What the fuck? Why?
So this is not where it is, because this is further below. Right? Yeah, the stuff that I'm looking for is all the way over there. I thought that this would have been closer, but no. How's the game so far? It's really good. Th thighs you. It's really good. I like it. It's a really fun game. Would recommend. That looks like a leap of faith, potentially. But you can't actually climb this. Oops. Are you on a controller? I'm playing on PlayStation 5, so yes, I'm on a controller. This was the boss fight that we did in here. A, a small boss fight. And then from here, we can teleport here. Now the other one that I can try to figure out is the one that's also falling, but I don't know where that portal is. There's a portal that is straight up falling. This is the leap of faith. I think I need to find another leap of faith. We already fixed that. But I think there's probably going to be another leap of faith uh, near that crystal. Somewhere. Somewhere, or maybe here? This is the start, right? Yeah, this is the starting section. I don't think the Leap of Faith would be there. It's too far away. If there even is a Leap of Faith. Maybe there isn't. I'm just overthinking things. But the one that I would like to try next is to see where the one that's falling down takes us. Because there's another one falling down. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well fed. One of these should have the golden thing that we were looking for. Which I believe is going to be a simulacrum. Oh, hello. Cypher rod. The cave might know what to do with this. Oh shit, that doesn't look good. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Apparently we can't open this one yet. Which means we'll have to come back here at some point. So we figured out that part. Oh, this was actually something different. I thought it was going to be... No, that's right. That's right. That's correct. It kind of sucks that we can't use that, but whatever. Interesting, this place isn't even in the map. This specific section that we're in. My long gun is the rat gun. Let's see what McCabe can do with it then. Although I do need to take a quick bio break, gentlemen. I will be right, right back. Don't you go anywhere. Don't you dare go anywhere. I'll be right back. I'm gonna run that. Don't go anywhere. Um, back, 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 back like a heart attack. Okay, McCabe. You know, McCabe, you must not be a very good crafter. I keep seeing you work on that stupid ass engine and you haven't done jack shit with it yet, so you must actually kind of suck at your job. Better be worth my time, traveler. And then you give me this What'd lip. You got? 
you can't get that fucking thing to work, you've been working on it for at least the last 30 hours of gameplay. Pathetic. Enigma. Handgun. Fires an electrical stream that jumps to nearby targets within 7.5 meters, dealing 30% reduced damage per jump, applies overload, so it's a chain lightning gun. Chaos Driver. Drives electrified rods, which tether to other rods within 10 meters. Tethers last 10 seconds, deal 20 damage per second. Target. Jesus Christ, this seems like it's a pretty fucking beast. Okay, that's all you get. Bye now. Okay, that's all you get. Bye now. This one has ammo, though. What the fuck? Joshua Lutzema, Ruri, I really want to thank you for your dedication to thorough and informed reviews. I can't tell you how frustrated I've grown with half-baked Exoprimal reviews. Yeah, the, the, I was I was actually talking with Jono, and he's been keeping tabs on some of the reviews, and he was telling me, like, I feel like a lot of people haven't even played the game. <laughs> they just put out a review. They didn't play the game. Because, <laughs> like, apparently what a lot of people are saying in the in the reviews is, like, the things the game reveals to you within the first 30 minutes and they're like yeah this is the whole game it's like bro i get it you gotta write like 50 fucking reviews or some bullshit for your job but i mean come on now we need some standards this weapon's a whole lot of fun This weapon's a whole lot of fun. Angry Joe was streaming it yesterday. I don't even know why they sounded miserable in the first match. I was watching the Stephanie Sterling video yesterday. And... They were saying that in a lot of ways the first impressions that everybody gets from the game is that it's just one of those games that You know has all of these microtransactions and all of these things on it But when you actually jump into it It doesn't do a lot of the bad things that other games do, but a lot of people don't get to that point I'm Thinking if I should upgrade this it's probably gonna be a pain in the ass because I'm not gonna have the materials in friend Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of luminite crystals, and the long guns and stuff is gonna be. Ugh, this is so frustrating. You know it. I need to go into like adventure mode to grind at this point before I can do proper upgrades for this. That's pretty cool. The number of reviews saying tanks are useless. <laughs> of a hot take is that? Imagine saying tanks are useless in Exoprimal. Good lord. Oh my god, dude. My man played Murasame, didn't touch anything else, and he's like, useless. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. So, uh, let's go ahead and see what world is next. Hope we get, like, Nehrud. I wanted to go to Nehrud. That was, like, the coolest looking world that I saw when I, um, when I first saw the trailers. I want to go to Nehrud. Wait, it's not this way. Oh, glad that's over. 
Bitch. Did you just punch me in the mouth? I still haven't remembered that they do that thing at the end. Alright, let's open up the next portal. The next one. Hello, sir. Let's spin the dice. Opens the door. Oh, I get to keep the assassin's dagger, apparently. Okay. Wah, 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 wah. I read a review going something like this. My tank is just holding shield and not contributing to killing dinos. Tell me about someone who's never played, um... What's his face? Fuck, I forgot his name. It's my favorite character and I forgot his name. Roadblock. Tell me that, uh, you haven't- You have no fucking clue how to play Roadblock without telling me that you have no fucking clue how to play Roadblock. It still doesn't tell you where it goes to. I'm just curious. Forgotten prison. I think this is Nehru. Yes! This is the place I wanted to come to. Fuck yeah, dude, let's go. Purple goop. I do. That's a dead-ass creature. What is this? 
Not to see her. Some work of that damn custodian. No, no. Something else. A sentient thing. We bled ourselves in search of you. Yet here, at the end of all things, you have found us. And I've been looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> Amusing. Perhaps you have, and not known. Years of reflection have laid bare miracles in my mind that I never dreamed possible. Yet some things remain out of reach. Tell me, my world, precious Nerud, what has become of it? I don't know, I just got here. And yet you commune with me now through the speaker's pulpit. Pray tell me, how did you come by this world? No, 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 do not answer. I see it now, at the edge of my mind. But, but, but I dare not know it. You and I share this much in common, then. We are cut off from our people, and we share a similar end. Mine lies in Alepsis Torah, while yours... <laughs> no. To speak it is to change it. Already it shifts. Rest assured, our fates bind us together. So I ask a favor, and will offer one in return. On the surface of this world lie several chambers that were shielded, as I was, from the cruelty of Alepsis Torah. These chambers bear the soul sparks of the Drazir, our last remaining legacy. Find them and bring them to me, but not here, not to this contemptible chamber in which you now reside. You must find me in the flesh. My temple can be found within the wastes above. Look for the all-seeing eye of the astropaths. Bring me the soul sparks, and we will speak further. Can I ask you some questions? Ask them. What did you mean when you searched for Not me? you. What you represent. Life beyond our own. We could not accept that we were alone. We searched for eons. We found nothing. The entire universe. A sea of... Lifeless rocks. Yet, at the heart of it all, Alepsis Torah. And within that fathomless void, order, intelligence, life. What happened to your people? Pride. We scraped the heavens for answers. As if it owed us an explanation. In our thirst for answers, we doomed ourselves. Alepsis Torah consumed us and spat out the remains. You really know my fate. Your fate becomes more clear with every passing moment. But for you to hold that knowledge, it is too great a burden. I will answer no further questions on this matter. What's Alepsis Torah? Enough! You must seek the soul sparks. Nothing else matters. Too much time has passed, and the fate of Nerud draws ever closer. No. You have not completed your task. Must I convince you? No, I 
I must have what remains of our legacy. Oh damn. He doesn't even chat anymore. What an asshole. I'm not doing what you say just because of that. Fuck you. I'm trying to have a conversation. With respect, Magister. Everything that remains of the Drazir lies within this chamber. The utility of these records is debatable. Very well. You pursue your given purpose as I pursue my own. I can hardly fault you for that. I will indulge. What is Ellipsis Torah? Those who might have attained first-hand knowledge have been swallowed by it. But I too have seen it in what way is available to me. Within your body, the paths of blood vessels no matter where you start, or which direction you take, all lead to the same point. A singular, beating heart. So it is with Alepsis Torah. It is the beating heart of the universe. But it is so much more. There is the taste of... Artifice about it. It's intelligence. Perhaps Alepsis Torah is that intelligence, or perhaps it is merely an agent of it. I know not for certain. I do know there is volition behind it. The Drazir were born of this volition, as light is born from a star. Yet now, as the universe grows dark and cold, that intelligence has no further need for us. We are to be undone, not destroyed. Indeed, this intelligence bears little thought toward us at all. We will simply cease, like a dream upon waking. As though we were never real to begin with. That is, if we do nothing. Or if the custodian has his way, we will jump back into that beast and be consumed like our brethren. But I have another way. The Ambit Ember has shown me everything. I know how to preserve the Drazir, no matter what the custodian or Lepsis Tora might do. Enough! We should begin immediately. Awaken the others. The shields of this chamber will have spared them the horrors of Alepsis Torah, as they did for you and I. Bring them before me, one by one. I will explain to each what I have seen. I will explain what must be done. And one by one, they will make a choice. And when I have spoken with the last, then you too will come to me, Magister. And you too will make a choice. Interesting. Do you just play the game, lol? No. No. I will continue listening to all of the messages and getting immersed in the lore. Yep, I will do that. <laughs> uh, I like chatting with NPCs. It's interesting. See, that's the thing. Nowadays, everybody's just like, no, you gotta play the game. Gotta, gotta, gotta go fast. Gotta, gotta, zoom, 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 zoom. It's like, no, dude, just, just like, chill. Take a seat. Grab some popcorn. Enjoy yourself. Oh, 
Oh wow, that was it for this map? I understand that like, look, different strokes for different folks and all that, but like to me, I like getting immersed. Where are they? Like hearing the story, like seeing what's going on in the world and all that. I love the soundtrack in this place too. But it's also time for me to take my lunch break. So listen team, here's what's happening today. There's two more streams scheduled after this one. So this one will automatically take you towards um, the... What's wrong with me? Towards the Armored Core 6 stream. There's going to be a 12 minutes of gameplay revealed later today. I will be watching that and I will be reacting to it and I will be analyzing it. So that will be in about a little bit less than two hours. Um, and yeah, we'll talk a little bit about Armored Core 6 and all of that jazz. And then immediately after Armored Core 6, we're going to go into another um, Remnant 2 stream, which is already scheduled on the channel. It's currently scheduled to 4 p.m. my time, but that might change depending on how long we stay on the Armored Core stream. But basically the idea is we hop out of Armored Core, we jump into the next Remnant stream. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. All of these streams will automatically send you to the next one. So if you want to watch all of it, just stay in the channel. And this will send you there and it will tell you what time the stuff starts and all of that jazz. Thank you all very much. If you guys enjoyed today's stream, do hit the like button, subscribe, bell, notification icon, all of that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.